Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Climbing the ladder, a football manager 20 journey. We are on our third club. This is episode uh, two, two, three, three, three. Yes, three. Pretty sure it's three. <laughs> anyway, uh, so let's get you caught up. We're near the end of August. Uh, transfer window closes in about a week. I was thinking about waiting, but we've, we've had about five matches since the last episode, so I wanted to come back. We're still trying to get used to the club, get you guys familiar with the club. So I wanted to drop into here, look at the hierarchy. We haven't looked at this yet. You notice the cohesion is real low. A lot of new players. Well, some new players. We'll go over that. Leadership support. So I've noticed this going all the way back to the uh, pre-release on FM20. Uh, basically, in your first year, this is always going to be bad. Unless you are overqualified. And you can see here, your reputation is quite low in relation to your players. So I have like a half star. Players are two, three, four stars uh, for this area. Um, so that's going to happen a lot. Now, one good bit of good news is the board allowed, agreed to send me on a coaching badge course. So, yes, so we'll be working on our first coaching badge. Finally, uh, I was really upset that Eastbourne uh, Boro never let us go out for a badge. Um, but, you know, I don't think they were going to let me go either. But they said, you know, your, your run of form uh, has been very good. So let's take a quick look here. Uh, I have seven players that oppose me. Um, that's pretty harsh. And they're all influential players. Um, they, they don't oppose me for anything bad. Haven't done anything. And we're winning. This all comes out to just having a low reputation. So, uh, and one thing I noticed, I put in my actual birth date. So in 2052, I'll be roughly 66 years old um no that's not right i'll be dead in 2052 i must have just picked a birth year at random but anyway um so that's that's interesting uh berksley selnes stockland and berkland all support me berkland is our backup keeper uh let's take a quick look at transfers uh, we do have uh, quite a few guys. We have three players joining us uh, at the beginning of the year. Uh, Henrik Overgaard, uh, a defender, plays right back. Uh, Ivar Orn Magnuson is a striker and another striker in Lars Kirkland. Kirkland. Uh, so both of those guys are coming in at the beginning of the year. But who have we brought in to actually play? Well, we have brought in uh, five players. Well, six players. So uh, Kim Rune Christie joined us from Asker. Uh, he's played in uh, three matches, seven as a reserve, not playing great. Uh, but he's got, you know, he can, he can play central. He can play defense and mid. He can even drop back if, if we're in dire straits to a central defender. Four-star ability. He's maxed out, 27 years old. Solid physicals, aggression, uh, leadership, work rate. Uh, marking, tackling are all solid. So, you know, just a solid all-around player for this level. Uh, Nikolai Bor oh, God. Borkajet comes in on a free. Uh, he's 25 years old, three-star current, three-and-a-half uh, potential. He can play all three backline positions. He's a natural at, at uh, right back and center back. Uh, he's, got, he's got good physicals. Decision making, determination, positioning, teamwork. I mean, I love his mentals as well. And he's solid. I mean, you know, unimpressive, but solid at his technicals. And, you know, at this at these lower levels, that's kind of what you get. Uh, Roger Stokeland comes from Lillestrom on a free. He's a left back. He can also fill in at right back. Again, very good physicals, three-star current, five-star potential. Mentals are all right there. Again, he can mark people, he can tackle, and you know he can't really pass great, but that's that's kind of in line with with all of our other players. I was really looking to strengthen the back line. Uh, Christian As Ax Axnes, I don't know, Axnes, 
Uh, three and a half star current, four and a half star potential. He is a center back, left back, six foot six. Uh, he's playing a six eight and three starts with us. He's got the he's got you know his tech his physicals aren't quite as good, but you know they're solid. Very brave aggression. Um, he's got some strength, positioning, teamwork. Uh, tackling's very good. Marking's very good. Heading not so much, but. Um, he does have really good jumping reach, so he can get to the ball. Now, whether he can do anything with it, but again, it's another another center back. Uh, I think he's going to probably play more left back. Ola Ola Selnis comes from Sandefjord on a free three star current, five star potential, a left back, right back uh, player, very pacey. Uh, first touch, crossing, or, or at least workable. Marking, passing, so he's actually pretty well rounded. Uh, he's played twice for us. He's playing a six point nine, and uh, still coming into shape. And then we signed uh, the last player, Robert Craddock, on a free. Uh, he is a winger. He can play left and right. Uh, he can play left because we're playing that inverted winger, but four and a half star ability. He is. He has got speed, acceleration. He can take corners. He can dribble. He can take free kicks. He's got decent first touch, solid passing for for this team, and penalty take. I mean, he's well rounded. I really like this kid. Uh, he's made his debut. He played a six point eight, so um, that's what's going on there. Taking a look at the schedule uh, after we uh, won uh, against Brumendahl last episode, we beat Sola one nil. Glenn Stoylin. Uh, in the 82nd minute. Then we set up a couple of friendlies. This one was uh, was set up and we played our regular uh, lineup. Uh, we won 4 1. Micklebust, uh, Anders uh, with a goal, uh, Pern Arndahl with a goal, and Andre, Anders Summer with a brace. Then on this one, we had a large crop of uh, trialists come in and we were able to play all of them. We basically played a full trialist. The only person that was uh, regular on our club was the uh, reserve keeper, and we won that one one nil. Uh, so we won't really worry about that. Uh, but you know, we ended up winning, and then uh, we came back and uh, Stabic, uh, I, I don't know Stabic. I'm going with that uh, one nil. Raymond Nielsen, uh, center back. He uh, he came in on a corner and got a header into the uh, top uh, top bend of the goal. Uh, late in the match, 86 minute. Vindbjart, uh, we got an early goal from Jorgen Peterson, and then uh, they scored the equalizer early on as well. Uh, and then Brand, we also settled for a 1 1 draw. Dennis Knudsen with a goal, and we gave up Tinebo, uh, got the equalizer. So we're actually in, a, you know, in an unbeaten run, pretty substantial. Uh, taking a look, we've climbed up to eighth in the poll, so we are solidly uh, mid table now. Uh, we are seven points <coughs> clear of relegation at this point, and we're only five points out of playoffs. And remember, the two the the number two clubs uh, cannot get promoted. So anyway, uh, so we're doing pretty good. I'm pretty happy. Uh, the board is very happy, 67 percent. Uh, you know that was before I came on board. And uh, we're only supposed to fight bravely, so we're actually in good form. Let's get to the matches today. Uh, we're slight underdogs uh, on the road. I have been playing this tactic uh, nonstop, so we're doing pretty well. Um, and I've left it with the... I do want to take off the offsides trap, though. See if that helps us out a little bit. All right, so we're going to have K Kvarv, uh, Ark... <laughs> Axnes and Selnes now on, on the outside. Ness Lund uh, moves from left side back into center. So he is going to start for us there. How tall is he? I don't remember. He is uh, six feet tall, jumping reach. Can't head very well. Uh, Nielsen is the 6'4 uh, the guy. And we do have a 6'6 six, six guy on the bench. So we've got, we've got some players there. Uh, Lervik, Knudsen in the middle. Skogvold, who uh, you guys saw last episode, Craddock has now come in, Stoyland in the middle, and Peterson up top. Peterson has eight goals in 14 starts, two assists, three players at a match. He is playing really well. 
So let's go ahead and get into this. Craddock is missing some match sharpness. Fair enough. Uh, we are going to all the best. Morale's actually in good shape. We haven't signed any new staff. The uh, director of football that I had the president and the president hired him. Um, he brought in, he brought in an, one guy, but uh, he hasn't done a whole, whole hell of a lot on the, on the coach front. <laughs> oh, Le Leverick, Lervick got his foot on that one, but sent it over. All right. Got to tell him to get creative. A couple of early yellow cards. Forstrom sends it into the mixer. It goes just over the goal. That was a little lucky for us. All right, that's lumped out, headed down. Nice ball over the top. Peterson. Oh, and he cannot. Oh, the keeper just got a finger on it. That should have been in the back of the net. All right, Craddock. Craddock's got some pace on him. Oh, he's bringing it all the way down into the zone. Crossed in. Ah. Uh, that was unlucky. They're on the counter. Zevanov. Oh, he's got runners, and he breaks through. Kavarv. Good clearance. Way to get it out of the spot. All right, Selnas. Back into the ball, into the center. Oh, they did. He, he was shooting from range, man. That was dangerous. Oh, look at that pass through the middle. Oh, my God. Oh, the keeper must have sent him wide. Good angle played by Kav Kavarv. I hope I'm pronouncing the names at least remotely close. <laughs> oh, that one goes over. That was a good chance for us. Push forward. They're frustrated. Wait, what? Push forward. Why? All right. Last ditch effort here. Play it in. There's the shot. Craddock, his first goal. Askinez with the assist. A couple of our newer players. And we will sneak into the locker room with a one mil advantage. 14 to 8 on shots. Possession advantage, liking that. Don't get complacent. Both of you guys play it calm. Now they've got four chances to R1. Not happy about that. <coughs> all right, a little bit of danger ball back there, but we're all right. All right, good movement with the ball there. Lervick brings it up to the midfield line. No, that was poor. Uh, and the keeper left the angle on that one. Martin Larson scores his first of the season. Ah. No, that was not good. Not good. All right. Radeberg. Let's bring Somner in for Peterson. He's not playing really well. All right. Dag Matheson. Six feet. He's got some pace. He can play on the right. You know what? Let's bring Selnas over to the left. And then let's bring uh, Borkeet in. Get him some game time. All right. Lervick plays it over the top. Hits Newtson in stride. And oh my God, that was ugly. <laughs> Oops. That was not good. All right. Demand more. All right. That's lumped out. Demand. 
Good job. Oh, the keeper came way out of the box. Oh, they're just ping-ponging it back and forth now. No, oh, they're just lumping the ball. Oh, my God. Offsides. Oof. You know what? We were actually playing. We were actually playing that. So that's what I've been playing. I've been playing the default, which called for an offsides trap. And we were doing all right. So let's go back to it because, you know, that's what I was playing off camera. All right, um, Craddock, attacking mid-right. Um, I wonder, let's give him some game time. Kim Rune Christie, one of our new acquisitions. Push forward. All right, Barkalette. It's, oh my God, what a shot. He had some power on that one. Keeper just got a hand on it. All right. 1-1 one, one draw. <clears throat> we really came on in the second half. 12-28 on target. We were outdone on chances. We still move up a little bit with uh, over Folo. Unlucky today. All right, uh, so let's see. Craddock shines, and our unbeaten run is up to eight. And with that, we'll see you guys for the next match here in just a second. All right, guys, we are back. We just made a transfer deadline deal uh, for a loan. Uh, we brought in uh, Gunnar Yerv from Sandiford. Uh, he's a uh, winger striker. Uh, and he has uh, decent physicals, determination, flair, teamwork, passing. You know, so he's you know he's well rounded. He can play quite a few positions. He's actually got decent finishing. He could fill in at striker, and we also have an offer on Newt Thorgerson. He's a striker from Yondelin, and he is potentially going to be our starting striker if we can get him on loan uh we're in talks with him but uh that'll come after the match so uh but we are favorites today over start two and uh <coughs> we've only played once this season we had a draw so we're gonna continue to play this tactic craddock uh yerv will move up to that right wing so he'll get his debut today uh, he will have to get his, uh, he'll get number 34. We're into the 30s. I think the last couple of players were 32 and 33 in a row. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. All right. It's kind of a sad day for me. Uh, so if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you probably remember my youngest son uh, dealt with cancer a couple of years ago. And uh, so he has not gotten a haircut since uh, since then. So it's been a little over two years uh, since, he, since his hair grew, started to grow back. And uh, th it really hit me just now because so, so they're out of town for the holiday, uh, they spent Christmas here. They're going to spend New Year's with uh, with uh, with my wife's family. That's not good. We're going to be a man down at that point. I really appreciate that, Stin. Um, so Stoylin, I think we're going to have to drop him. Let's drop him back to where Lurvik is. And then we'll drop this back to that position. Oh, Lurvik can actually play there? Really? Okay. Yes, he can. Is he any good? Mm -hmm. He's 5'8". Other than that, he's all right. 
but we'll go with that. That that keeps us from having to make a sub. So uh, anyway, but he uh, he graduated high school. Um, all right. But uh, so yeah, so he hadn't had a haircut since his hair started to grow. You know, his hair all fell out with uh, chemo and everything, and then uh, so he's been growing it out ever since. And and I had long hair when I was in high school in my early years of college, ah. and. Uh, you know, I had to get it cut for a job and to become an adult. And, uh, you know, he's 18 now. And so we've been, there it is, Raymond Nielsen off the back line. Puts us up 1-0. That is nice. Um, so, yeah, so they're, they're up visiting. And uh, my niece is uh, a hairstylist. So he uh, he told her to cut his hair so he could try to get a job and, you know, start, uh, start doing stuff. And so, uh, yeah. So my wife just texted me a couple of pictures and one of the pictures was him from the back. And that was one of, that was the last picture I took of myself when I was younger and had long hair. And, uh, so it just, it hit me. And, uh, so I just kind of feel bad that he's having to grow up, you know? Ah, well, all right, we're going to sub him out. Let's bring Skogvold in. And Stoylen, mid center. Yep, we'll bring Kimroon Christie in. Oh, that's not good. Come on, man. If you're gonna shoot the ball, if you get to head the ball, get it either head it to to a teammate or head it down to yourself. Skogvold, shit. All right. Um. All right. Let's check him real quick. All right. Lower leg injury. He's still he's still very fit. So we're gonna go with that. We're gonna let him play kind of feel glad we've got some cover there now oh poked away skogvold nice all right he lays it off craddock oh he was looking for the overlap christy squares it into nutson nutson plays it out wide all right there's selnas squared into the middle a header just goes astray all right, boys. All right, Harold Stad. Um, damn, do I have anybody else I can put there? Not really. I, I think I want to bring in, uh, let's see, Dag Matheson. I can bring him in. Do I have room for him? Yes. All right, we'll bring him on for ask uh, asking his. That'll be good. <clears throat> All right, he plays it back. There's the lump forward. Peterson putting some pressure. All right, forces the turnover. Craddock over the top. Knutson chest it down into the box. Brilliant finish, Dennis. Knutson with his second of the season. Craddock pulls the assist. And that should give us the three points. We've got five minutes of stoppage time. That's huge. Uh, Harold Stat's still in with that injury. Well, they just subbed him off. And we do take the 2 0 win. Big advantage, 3 to 1 on shots, almost 2 to 1 on target. Only one chance created. That's, that's down a good bit. But. We're going to go passionate, very happy. Hopefully, uh, there's not a big injury there. Let's see. And we did that with 10 men. So, Yerv made his debut. Ness Lund is suspended for one match. Well, I came in mid-season, but that's that's kind of my thing. You know, I've started, you know, I, I understand I need to dial that back. So, okay. 
All right, Thorgerson is going to come in, so he's and the fans are pleased with that. So that'll give us another striker. And Knudsen got the goal. Excellent. Well, that's fine. All right, guys, let's uh, check the competition. That moves us uh, into seventh position at 28 points. We're only five off the playoffs now. Start has fallen below us. Bran is right on the cusp. And we are actually in positive goal differential. Remember we were, what, negative 10 at one point or something like that? So we are doing really well. I mean, we're, we're within striking distance of the top. I mean, we're only six points off. And we have 10 games. Well, we have nine games left to play. I'm pretty happy where we're at. We're eight points above relegation. So where do we come back becomes the next question. I think we go ahead and finish the season out. I'll come back for the season finale against Notodden, uh, third in the table, and Brumendahl, 12th in the table. Uh, boy, if we can pick up some wins here, that's, you know what, maybe we ought to come back for that. That's only two matches, though. I tell you what I'll do. If we win these and we're within striking distance with the top two clubs, I'll come back for these because I think those will be crucial matches. If we're not within striking distance, I'll come back at the end. So, um, and basically, a loss probably takes us out of that. So, But I think we're doing well. Uh, again, we're, we're in an unbeaten run of extreme proportions for this save. I am so happy. Uh, I wonder, has my profile done anything? No. You, you, have to, you, have, you have to win silverware, get, get promotion, or, you know, or get a badge, I think, to go up. So, uh, you know, we're still developing. Uh, but at least we're taking a coaching course. So, guys, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, if you want a reminder for daily content, which I do put up every day except for Sundays, uh, hit the little bell to get notifications. Follow me over on Twitter, all the other stuff. I don't, you know, I don't do a lot of streaming, so I don't advertise that. And, um, you know, but I do have the daily FM content and then uh, some other stuff that I put up on YouTube, uh, survival-type games. Thanks so much. We will see you guys. Take care and bye.